leaving Toronto once out of the city, there was a real maze of heavy industrial area before reaching the suburbs following the lake heading east. from dry, desolate Western Australia. The amount of fresh water was absolutely amazing. I could just never get over it. And so the hills started. Once you leave the lakes there, it's just rolling hills that go up and down, up and down. And they played havoc on my knee. Warm showers host house. This evening I had a chance to change over my bars to surly Maloko bars I'd picked up in Toronto. Absolutely fantastic bars, really happy with them. I rode with the other bars for about 300 kilometres just in case I wanted to change back. You gotta love warm showers, great hosts, great food, great company, and wonderful pets. A fantastic breakfast, then it was time to hit the hills heading towards Uxbridge. Getting out of Toronto was a long process. Just in case you were not sure where you were, you now know you are on Toronto, which goes on forever and ever, and has a lot of hills that go on. In Canada and in the States, cars can turn right on a red arrow, which makes you feel they're running lights. So this guy can actually turn right now, but he's going straight ahead. Leaving Toronto, finished with the streets, now onto this trail which follows what the Canadians call the hydro line where the wahoo really comes into its own when you get to these multiple possible directions and you cross a busy street on the other side and it gives me inch by inch meter by meter directions as opposed to spending half an hour knowing do I go left do I go right you know you've been on the bike for a bit when the flowers you were photographing a week ago are now starting to turn into seed just the remnants of some colour left still beautiful Toronto is a massive large city. All fields away from the hot concrete. Still a bit of sun, but a bit of the rain. Yeehaw! It's the middle of the day and I've been riding now for three hours to get out of Toronto. <coughs> Big wide service roads, hardly any traffic to get out of the main. And here I really hurt my knee. Getting off the bicycle to take these pictures, I somehow twisted my knee. It was excruciating pain, making cycling almost impossible up the hills. That's why I pushed the bike so much. Really affected my sleep, just throbbed and throbbed day and night. And then after about 10 days, it suddenly got better. Wonderful. This is how smart the animals are here. Yeah, you actually have to activate the rubbish bin with a trigger, pull up a big heavy lid, and drop it down again. Well, I'm on a secondary road, but wow, it's rough. Potholes repaired on potholes repaired. Oh, here comes a car. Right over. There's no one's going to speed on this road. Walking up the hill. Down the hill, up the hill, turkeys on the right. All turkeys. Just a uh, thunderstorm rolling through, a lot of thunder. So I just pulled onto the side of the road. Still too hot to put a raincoat on, but I don't want to get wet because once you get wet, it gets cold. So look at this beautiful country, stunning. And what does that mean? That means I am walking up the hill. 
Walking up the hill, a big thunderstorm behind. Hot and humid. Nice little warm oak trees. The old part of Uxbridge was beautiful. Great bike shop there. If you're going through Uxbridge, got to go to the bike shop. Wonderful folks there, so helpful. Changed my tyres, got thinner tyres, got some tape for my handlebars and then pushed on. No, I didn't put those ice bikes on my tyres. After Uxbridge, I'm on a rail trail for quite a while and then the rolling Drummel Hills reappear. It's part of the Trans-Canadian Trail. Beautiful country just out of Uxbridge through swamplands and uh, as soon as I stop I get attacked by mosquitoes. But wonderful. storm coming so these kind people in the house here have said I can camp in their yard so I've just got to quickly get the tent up before the downpour comes. Sitting out a thunderstorm which is rumbling overhead and these nice people let me camp in their backyard. Nothing to do but listen to the rain. Rain, 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 stuck on a tent. Lovely to have a cool morning. It's a heavy thunderstorm last night, so everything's wet, so everything weighs a little bit more. It's nice and cool. Yeehaw. Just going past a bit of bear poo on the trail. Probably means it's a black bear. I hope it's a black bear. There's only black bears around here, and they're pretty harmless. So I've seen one. I'd like to see another one, and like to see a moose, but everyone tells me that's very, very unlikely. Absolutely stunning country. These beautiful rolling hills are called Drummels, formed in the last ice age about 10,000 years ago. Absolutely stunning country, really hard to get up these 10 to 15 degree inclines, but you can race down without even pedalling, getting over 60 kilometres an hour. This trail is really quite soft and it's got these loose stones, so when it comes to a hill, it's almost impossible to cycle up if you're standing up. And there is one hill after the next, like big ocean waves. Beautiful. But... Mm. Nothing like riding down a road. And the tractor's dug up for a bit of rattle and shake. And there's another hill. Heading to Seagrave for the night. These hills really took it out of my absolute pain going up the hills. Another great warm showers hosting family. Fantastic people. Nice to sleep in a bed, play with the pets, paddle on the lake. Wonderful time. Thank you so much. With a beautiful house like this by the lake, these are the sort of views you get in Canada. The nicest corn I've ever eaten came from the United States and Canada. A day off the bicycle, time to hit the lake. This is the 
beaver's food supply right here in the water. You can see sticks picking up and uh, they, they plant these branches which they eat in the wintertime once the river's frozen. They swim out to it and uh, collect them underwater. And the beaver lodge is right behind the sticks over that way. You can see the bottom part. I absolutely love these chipmunks. Such beautiful little characters, so full of character. This one was playing in the wood heap, but they also ran around in front of me as I cycled down the trails. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Next one will be me heading towards Peterborough and then down towards Kingston and then back into the United States.